Okay, welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we will be working an example using the pump affinity laws to find the new pump head and pump flow following a pump speed change. I hope you find it useful. Okay, so we have a centrifugal pump initially operating at 1000 RPM with the following head and flow. Pump head is 45 feet and the flow is 500 gallons per minute. So we're going to go ahead and list these as our initial conditions with the subscript 1. And the pump speed is then increased to 1100 RPM. And we want to find the resulting pump head and the flow. So to do this, we're going to be using the pump affinity laws. Let's do a quick review, starting with flow. And flow has a linear relationship with pump speed, where N is pump speed. And uh, you often hear that if you double the uh, pump speed, uh, that will you will double the flow. For head, it is a quadratic relationship. So if you double the uh, pump speed, you can expect the uh, head to go up by a factor of four. And last but not least is power. And it is a cubic relationship. So again, if you double the uh, pump speed, you would expect the power to go up by a factor of eight. The pump affinity laws are, uh, are pretty good, especially when the system is in turbulent flow. Uh, you should realize that the uh, the power does not account for a uh, change in efficiency of the pump. Okay, so let's jump into this. So we're given the initial conditions, and the final conditions are going to be noted with a subscript 2, and we have the uh, final pump speed, 1100 RPM. So let's start with flow. And using the affinity law, we can quickly solve for the final flow, which increased by 10% as we expect it to 550 gallons per minute. All right, now let's uh, work on head. Again, it's a quadratic relationship. Solving it for the new pump head. We get that the final pump head is 54.4 feet. And that is our final answer. All right, so this was a, a quick instructional video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please like and subscribe. And more importantly, have a great day.